today we'll be discussing about uterine artery doppler velocity it is uterine artery doppler is the velocity of blood flow in the uterine artery what happens during systole and diastole during systole there is fast blood flow in the uterine artery depends upon the contractility of the heart maternal diastole the flow depends upon the terminal vascular resistance in the spiral artery what are the spiral arteries the spiral arteries they are temporarily they supply the blood to the endometrium of the uterus during luteal phase of the menstrual cycle what happens to the spiral arteries during pregnancy and preeclampsia there is during pregnancy there is a placenta residue and myometrium trophoblast from this placenta they go retrograde within the spiral arteries and they cause remodeling of the spiral arteries so why we need remodeling of the spiral arteries uh, during remodeling this normally the spiral arteries are narrow coil then have increased resistance during pregnancy due to trophoblastic invasion they are converted into dilated vessels with low resistance why they should be converted and why this remodeling should happen so due to remodeling this narrow vessels are converted into dilated vessels so that there is increased blood flow to the placenta from there to the fetus so more nutrients to the fetus what happens in preeclampsia in pre preeclampsia this trophoblastic invasion this remodeling is incomplete due to incomplete this vessels are still Still narrow, they are not dilated, so blood flow will be less, and nutrients to the baby is also less. So in non-pregnant uterus, the spiral arteries are narrow, coil with increased resistance. So we have a systolic peak, we have a early diastolic notch, and endastolic flow, uh, and diastolic flow, endastolic flow. This is the waveform within the non-pregnant uterus so spiral artery. In preg pregnant uterus, due to trophoblastic invasion, remodeling of the spiral arteries, the, the vessels are dilated. Endastolic flow will be more, and there will not be any diastolic notch. In preeclampsia, due to incomplete spiral artery remodeling, the vessels will be narrow, and decreased blood flow will be present, and there will be an early diastolic notch and increased endastolic flow. So when you call it as abnormal uterine artery Doppler, especially when the patients come during second trimester, look at the PF; it will be more than 95th percentile, and there will also be a diastolic notch. So in non-pregnant uterus and the patients in first trimester, there will be a notch. In patients with first trimester, still the remodeling has just started; uh, it's not complete. That's why there will be a notch. Normally in gravid uterus, at least up to 15 weeks, notching will be present. Notching typically begins to disappear in the gravid uterus by 13 weeks, with clearly established diastolic flow by 20 weeks. So when should you do the uterine Doppler? Normally when the patient comes early, that is between 11 and 13 plus 6 weeks. Uh, first trimester we do it to screen for early onset preeclampsia and also early onset fetal growth restriction. And second and third trimester in evaluation of pregnancy is complicated by fetal growth restrictions. So when a patient comes in the third trimester uh, late pregnancy then if there is a diastolic notch and there is increased de decreased endastolic flow and increased PI it is an indicator of increased uterine vascular resistance and impaired uterine circulation. Coming to how do you do and uh, during first trimester, um, uh, how do you do and uh, uterine artery Doppler? Uh, what are the steps to be done? So normally we have to during first trimester when the patient comes normally obtain a sagittal section of the uterus and cervical canal. Now zoom the area of interest and identify the internal cervical os. Gently tilt the transducer from side to side using color flow. Then uh, apply a pulsed wave Doppler with a sampling gate of 2 mm and an angle of insulation of less than 20 degree and take the PI. So in second and third trimester, how do you do an uterine artery Doppler? Normally the probe is placed lateral to the uterus and the transfer is gently tilted medially until the uterine artery is identified where it is crossing the external iliac artery. Then the sample gate is pa placed over the entire diameter of the artery and the waveform is taken. Coming to the PI, normally PI, what happens as a normal pregnancy due to remodeling, the vessels are dilated, endastric flow will be more and PI will be less. As the gestation advances, the PI will be less. So just have a reference tables uh, in between 11 and 13 weeks, between 11 and 14 weeks, coming to 13 weeks, the PI at 50th percent will be 1.5 and 95th percentile will be 2.3. If it is more than 2.5 or more than 2 and uh, screening positive for preeclampsia. So during late pregnancy it should not be more than 1. For example at 34 weeks the PI at 50th percent is 0.7 and 95th is 0.9. At 40 weeks at uh, it, uh, 50th percentile the PI is 0.6 and 95th percentile is 0.9. In late pregnancy it should not be more than 1. 
Thank you.